Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our variable cam control using our Fuel Tech Manager software. We're able to control variable cam on both the intake and exhaust side. We have an engine that's going to be equipped with it, such as a Ford Coyote engine. Now, in this video, we're going to take a specific look at how to set up a Honda K series engine using the Fuel Tech Manager software. It's what I have the most experience with. I also have a lot of the detail, parameters, and programming that we need to have in the background for the variable cam control to work properly. We're going to be taking a look at the variable cam control tables and some general idea of how to program them depending again what kind of engine you're working with, if it's variable intake and variable intake and exhaust cam control. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our variable cam control in our Fuel Tech Manager software. I'm gonna be highlighting what to do and how to work with the Honda K-Series engine, since that's what I have the most experience with, with the Fuel Tech controller and the variable cam output control. There's gonna be other engines such as a Ford Coyote engine or even a 2JZ VVTi engine that are gonna have different settings and configurations. You'll have to call FuelTech in order to get some of that proprietary information. Unfortunately, I don't have that available, but we will be going through the general process and setup for the variable cam control in this video. And again, covering K-series specific on a Honda engine doing a variable cam control on the intake cam. So first and foremost with the variable cam, we're going to have a separate variable cam sensor input. That's gonna be tracking the position of the cam movement on the Honda K-Series engine. There's gonna be a dedicated sensor for that. So we have to wire that in to an input under our intake cam position sensor. So we're gonna do that in a second here. We also have our variable cam solenoid. That's gonna be a pulse width modulated solenoid. It's gonna be a zero to 100% scale range, similar to the idea of an idle control motor or a boost solenoid. It's gonna be sending more or less oil flow through the camshaft to allow the cam to actually rotate. So it's gonna be a closed loop dynamic control. It's gonna be a PID settings if you're familiar with the closed loop uh, control and other standalone systems. We're gonna get into all that specific information here in just a little bit, but the output has to be configured for the variable cam solenoid. So we have an input to configure and an output to configure. So let's jump in and do that right now. We're gonna go down here in our list. We're gonna go under sensors and calibration. First, we'll go here to inputs. Under the inputs, we're gonna be picking the input that we've wired our intake cam position sensor into. In this case, it's gonna be position nine for my application here. Under the channel name, we're gonna be changing this. So we're actually gonna be looking here, and we're gonna type in I for intake cam position. And we're gonna go down here. We have an intake cam position one and two. In the situation with a Honda K-Series engine, we only have one intake cam position sensor. We'll be selecting our intake cam position one. We do that. It's going to be showing here reading on rising edge. Now it'll either be a rising or a falling edge signal. Typically on a Honda application it is going to be a rising edge signal and we'll find that it's going to be a hull effect style sensor, meaning it's going to be a square wave output and not a sine wave with a magnetic sensor. So um, right off the bat here, this is going to be configured for our input. Now for the output, we're going to actually have to go down here. We're going to go into our sensors and calibration, go down to the outputs. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.